Carrie and Thomas, lovely to speak with you today. I really enjoyed Queen's Gambit and both of your roles in it. So my first question for both of you, but Thomas can begin. Just you each have like love and competition with Beth <laughs> at various times. Uh, what is What was your approach to your dynamic with her like? Um, I've, I've said this before, but she's initially just another competitor. I think. Mm -hmm. I think in the chess world, you you sit a pro, you sit at a table for two. And there's normally just a, a single ashtray on each side, one glass of water, and then a chessboard, and you just kind of go at each other until one of you falls to pieces, and the other one is claimed victorious. And so initially, she's just another one of those. She's another stepping stone in order to get to a, a championship. Um, but she has a, she has a, uh, a charisma about her and a, uh, and a, and a style about her and a style of playing chess and the mere fact that she is a woman, um, or a girl in a, in a very male dominated world is, um, just sets her apart and makes her, um, you know, really quite an enigma that I think everyone just kind of becomes fascinated by this young player with bright red hair is a woman mm -hmm. and is destroying everyone and no one's ever heard of her. It's, it, and so she makes a big name for herself. And um, I think my character at least uh, is just drawn by that and uh, finds her really quite fascinating and wants to get to know her and um, try and impart as much information um, to her so that she can kind of, you know, go on and, and fulfill what she needs to fulfill as a, as a, as a person, as a human and, and as a chess player. Harry? I think it's similar in that when uh, she enters Kentucky for the tournament, he just really wants to win. That's all Harry Beltic wants to do. He wants to beat everyone, claim his trophy again, and um, on to the next tournament. But she really does burst his bubble. Um, not only in terms of in the in his sort of perception of chess but also in his perception of how he sees himself and that's sort of where they're this sort of is the catalyst for their story and then he goes to to meet beth when she's at a very low point in her life to try and help her both in chess and in in sort of um her life uh and it's a lovely sort of uh very uh gentle uh, in terms of harry he's he really cares um, for her and I, I found that uh, quite quite moving when I first read it he's a nice boy <laughs> he is, yeah. um, now was there what was the most surprising thing that you each learned about chess or the world of chess Harry um the most surprising thing uh I had very little knowledge of chess in fact I had no knowledge of chess before um, embarking on this project so the thing uh, the thing that most surprised me was just and I know it's quite an obvious thing to say but talking to the people that could really play chess that were around um, on set all the time just how much they're thinking about at one point it's kind of it, it kind of melts my brain to think about it but there's so many moves ahead mm. um, not only are they moves ahead but they're thinking about what the opponent what moves they like to do or it's just there's so many there's so many things to consider when playing a match um, so I found that the most intriguing uh, thing to to try and um, to try and get hold of in terms of playing a chess champion mm. well. Um, I learned plenty of things about chess while watching, and now I'm going to have to learn how to actually play myself. So, <laughs> um, thank you guys both for the experience, and I can't wait for everyone else to see it.